Hey guys, welcome back to Cyberhack. Today I have a very interesting news because I, I believe the salary for cybersecurity analysts is like, I don't know what's going on with it. It's been dropping like crazy. And I want to show you guys what I'm talking about because there is evidence that I am going to prove to you that a lot of these salaries are not what is, makes it cracked up to be anymore. Is it even worth joining the cybersecurity analyst role as a beginner? And I want to answer those questions for you because this was a very interesting find. And of course, I'm going to show you guys all that in a little bit. So a little bit of a history with what I've been or update on what I've been doing back to back interview guys, different industries all across the board, hospitals, the, the federal and gambling crazy, right? All, all probably even more education. Wow. It's just endless. Um, and how did I get all these interviews or how do I even get recognized? Well, one, use your proper formatting for your resume Two, is just blasting yourself out there. I swear. That's the only way that you can actually, you know, get something is by just throwing, you know, it's like going fishing, right? And I used to go fishing a lot when I was younger. You kind of like, if you throw all your bait into the water, something's going to snap. Something's going to jump off eventually, right? And if you're putting one hook, one, one fishing line, you, you'll probably maybe get one fish. But if you put multiple, right? If you had 10 fishing poles for one person, you obviously, you, you stack it all in, you, you, and you throw them all out, cast them all out, your percentage goes higher, right? And this is the same concept. In my honest opinion, this is the same concept. But let me go through what am I talking about today? Well, first things first, I wanted to speak about this one thing in particular. I know I'm, I'm talking about it and I'm trying to find it. I actually was on LinkedIn and I was like, uh, someone liked a post from Splunk. And I didn't even realize Splunk was offering free training, which was great. And I also believe, which I can't find now for the life of me, I'm going to try and look for it, was a certification, an entry-level certification offered by Splunk based on this free training. I, I swear I saw it and I just can't find it now, but there is free training. And this is what I recommend to you guys. Do the free training with Splunk, post that onto your resume, put it somewhere nice and neat and that pops into your, your, you know, visual when you're, someone's looking at it. Right. And also post it on your LinkedIn account. The one that the same account that I told you to be professional about, because this is the one that's going to land you a job, right? Especially for a cybersecurity analyst position. But in regards to that, maybe this will be a turnoff eventually, even though the free training is great. Free certification is great. But what am I talking about? This cybersecurity analyst. Okay, this is also a cybersecurity analyst. Both in New York City and both offer, well, this one says pension. This one doesn't say pension, but I'm pretty sure this one offers a pension as well. And this one's for housing and this one's with the police fund. Now, job description, they're pretty similar, right? You're, you're doing an analyst position. Let me just kind of situate this a little better. Uh, so it tells you public housing. It tells you a background of the, of the organization or the agency. So they deal a lot with housing, obviously. And this one deals a lot with police active 36,000 active members. And we're going to go into the job description, but the kicker is going to be a little bit later, the requirements of fulfilling this job. I would say more or less they're identical as far as job description, because I mean, that's what a cybersecurity analyst do, right? They analyze different products and tools that they have and do incident response stuff or triage. So let's just read the first sentence. The cybersecurity analyst will be responsible for ensuring the security integrity and in the agency's information system and data. Okay. Does that say the same thing for here? Uh, public housing, the admission to increase opportunity for low and moderate income. No, that's just, that's not, that's not a job description. Who did this? Who did this? Uh, the cybersecurity analyst is responsible for monitoring, analyzing re and responding to security events and incidents. 
Okay, that sounds pretty familiar. This role leverages security monitoring, incidents triage, and threat analysts to identify potential security risk, assist in incident response effort, and enhance the overall security posture at NYCHA. Okay, uh, more or less the same. Monitoring network, okay, monitoring security events, analyze security events. If you do this whole Splunk thing, this whole free training, and this kind of relates to it, you more or less would probably have done a good amount of these bullets. Determine tactics, techniques, and uh, procedures. You could investigate all that. You know, you could study all that. You can find it online, the MITRE attack, and all the other great stuff. You know, obviously, you will learn that because this are, these are junior roles. These are entry-level roles, all right? But with that being said, let's go scroll back up again. This one salary range is 54000 to 77000 Forget the hundreds, all right? Just let's go by the round numbers. But this salary range is 86000 up all the way to 101000 Which cybersecurity analyst role would you fill, all right? Exam may be required. Exam may be required. That is not the exam that you're thinking about. It's not Security Plus, System, SysP, whatever. It's the uh, civil service union exams that they put out for these roles okay now here's the minimum qualification i know you guys are very anxious to know what does it take for me to get this job well one you need a four-year bachelor's degree and it says it right here you need a four-year college a high school diploma which it says right here education one and these are just static information because they are identical word for word those are the requirements preferred skills it says solid understanding of cybersecurity principles, concept, and best practices, and security certifications such as SISMs. No, come on, come on. This is just nonsense putting all these certifications here for entry level SOC position. Prefer skill, at least this one's more realistic on this side. The housing side says none of those certifications are required because they don't expect anyone to have those type of certifications, especially coming into a low, like a, a low entry level cybersecurity analyst position, right? Fundamental under fundamental understanding of network protocol system. Great. You just need to know your networking uh, terminologies, ports, and, you know, popular stuff, more common stuff, uh, network plus kind of stuff, A plus kind of stuff. This one, on the other hand, is like, I don't know, proficiency in working with SIM tools such as Splunk, Elk, Stack, and blah, blah, blah. You can go on and on. I, I like, I know not one organization now, one organization that I know uses all three of these sims, okay? But if you used one, you're pretty self-efficient in using any because it's just another interface. It's like driving a car, guys. You drive a car, great. You can get into a Formula One. You can get into a NASCAR. You can get into your pickup truck. It's gas pedal and, well, minus the whole stick shift and manual portion of it, all right? All right, maybe that wasn't a great example. Anyway, riding a bike, riding a bike, all right? Riding a bike. So this one does not, the, the, the higher paying one does not tell me if it's an entry level, uh, a mid-level or more senior level SOC analyst, but based on their description, right? Their preferred skills, it seems like you need to have a little bit more knowledge. But this one, preferred skills, is a little more forgiving. Right. And of course, that comes with the salary range, guys. And this is what I'm trying to say. It doesn't say right off the bat, is this an entry level or is this mid or is this a senior level? But if you took your resume and you put all the stuff that they were asking for, because I know a lot of you guys are going to cheat. You guys are going to go on ChatGPT, take the job description, throw it in there and write me something more specific to myself with my experience. You're going to get all this information. You're going to pass on that resume and see which one calls you back, right? That's what you're going to do. I know that's what you're going to do because that's what I've been doing. <laughs> well, anyway, I mean, think about it. This is, this is a very entry level price range, but it's not telling you that. It's not saying this. It's just say cybersecurity analyst. Now, it would be great if they added additional three letter acronyms, you know, junior for whatever, or senior, or mid, MID or SRN or whatever it is, but it doesn't say that. So it's very deceiving, right? Cybersecurity analysts, but you have to read this. Minimum qualification, they're both equal. So you need to have 
college degree and high school diploma. But the preferred skill is where it comes down to a little bit more details as to who's more knowledgeable and who's just starting off. And that's it. All right. And everything else is these are the benefits that they offer. Uh, and it says, let's see, experienced non-manager. Oh, so I, I didn't go down. So they're basically identical, identical guys. Uh, title code is the same thing because it, it's 13633, cybersecurity analyst, same title, civil service title right here. Title class, uh, classification, competitive one, same, same. Uh, this was posted until nine, oh, not until 914. So this one only has a week left. This one is semi indefinite because it doesn't have an end date. So until they find something. Now, I don't know if they don't find anyone at this time, they might have to renew the post or change the post around different requirements, whatever it is. This tells you exactly where you're going to be working 233 Broadway and technology and data. That's the category. Same thing right here. Work location. CNRM security governor. I don't, that's not a work location. That's a department. You will have to know what department the housing is in, in order to know that. But this one's very more, uh, this one's definitely more specific. Just by looking at this job posting requirements or just the job posting, I can tell right now this one has a little more experience in posting the job compared to this one. All right. So that's pretty much it, guys. I just wanted to go over that. Uh, take up that Splunk free training. Oh, nothing hurts. Uh, your wallet if it's free right and especially if it's benefit to you especially if you take that training and you land something and you're making money from it that's a called an investment that's a free investment that's awesome so do that and i appreciate you guys always being here please remember to hit that like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys again really soon bye